What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. Today we got another beautiful build for you. Today we're building in the Y40. It's been a few months we've built in this, and on top of that, we're going with the reverse fans from Lean Lee. That's right. We got two 140 millimeter reverse fans going on the side, and we got that beautiful Galhad 2 Infinity cooler as well. We're going with the 700 X3D, and yes, we're going with the 4070 Ti Super. All white out in this beautiful Y40 snow version. Absolutely killer system. Aesthetics, power, you name it, it's actually killer. It's going to go over on our quick ship systems as well. If you haven't checked that out, we'll leave a link down below to check out all of our beautiful quick ships, ready to ship systems that you can buy and purchase right here from Stinsbolt. Um, if you like it, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to check out more of our builds, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. If you want to catch us live on a raw like it is right now, as I butcher multiple intros because we had Alexa going off right next to me. You can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. We stream at 10 a.m. Eastern. We hope to see you soon. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful ports. Gigabyte's good. Gigabyte has actually good cards. I would say in terms of the highest, Asus and MSI, uh, then Asus, or then Gigabyte, and then Zotac, then PNY. Uh, Zotac and PNY are about the same. And then Zotac, PNY, Galax, and then um, I'd say like Colorful after that, things like that. EVJ was good. EVJ actually, actually had the EVJ had the highest return rate though. They were good, but they, they, their memory pads are horrible. Let's go top down right away and get started on the motherboard. Today's board, B650 Edge. Did we just built this board on Monday or on Wednesday. I think we did. It's a phenomenal board. It's probably honestly my favorite B650 board besides the B650 Carbon. Let's get the 1700X3D out. That's what we have today. Let's grab the CPU. All right, let's pop open the socket, make sure everything looks good here on the board. No bent pins, good to go. All right, down and in we go with the 1700X3D. All in, latch it down, good to go. Get our NVMe drive down and in, K2-3000 today. Tried and true staple here at Sinsville. Absolutely, that's my Citizen, my cheap Citizen purchase. It's a Citizen watch, but yeah, it's the Tiffany blue dial. I know Bill Orridge gave me that, loves that one. It's a really, really good watch though. Really good like beach summer vibes watch, you know. So they had like a, a kind of like a teal shirt today. I was like, hey, I'll match it, you know. Down and we go with the cover for the drive, looking good. Check the standoffs today for the Galahad. They, go off the, they have the new updated ones, good to see. All right, let's get our standoffs in place for the AM5. Cooler, one. Standoffs are in place for the Trinity. Let's turn it sideways, get our RAM out today. Team group, Delta, 6000 CL30. I mean, it's like the sweet spot, obviously, for RAM right now. Fantastic kit. Unless you're gonna kind of overclock, and then the Patriot Viper is really, really good. But this will do, or the Team Expert will be doing really. The Team Expert has a, has like a 8000 C, C34 kit right now, I think. There we go. Beautiful Delta RAM. One and two. There we go. All in. All right, we're all done with the motherboard. B650 Edge, 7800X3 down the socket. Our standoffs are in place for the Galhad 2 Infinity Design, our Infinity Cooler today from, from Lee and Lee. We got a one terabyte KC3000 down in the primary gen slot one. And we have 32 gigs of 6000 CL30 RAM coming from Team Group and the T Force Delta RGB. Absolutely beautiful aesthetic and look on design of things build, which is gonna go in the Y40, which we're gonna get out right now. There we go, chat. Here's the beautiful HY40. The H for the height. We're gonna top down and take off this rear fan as well. What we need to do is get this in, out of the way of our riser cable. Okay. Get this in place. Yo, chat, there's that beautiful Y40 with the edge. I mean, look at that. That's that's a gorgeous combo right there. That is a gorgeous looking combo. We're going to our front panel connections. Get our fans out really quick. 140s. Get these reverse 140s in. Let's see. Let me get these fans in first. Don't get connected. Fan wire. Looking good. Tucked around that. And they're bringing it around here. A small zip. Yeah, we're going to have to get a... Uh, let's see. I feel like we have to get a... Right angle USB 3. Oh my gosh, it's the reverse angle. We did it. It's the Asus pin. It's pin for Asus. So it goes like this. I mean, actually, it's not terrible, surprisingly. The GPU is going to hide it. So yeah, let's just do this. It's actually going to put less stress on. It's actually going to put less stress on the cable on the back, too. It just doesn't look good right now. But don't worry, chat. The GPU is going to hide it. Kind of actually uh, reverse. Doing it in reverse like this is better because it's not going to have a lot coming out the back where the case pack's gonna hit. It's actually gonna be come and then straight down. So it actually kind of works. So, cognizant of all the cables too, and getting the power supply in. So it's different. But when you're said and done, it does look really good. 
Power supply today, 850 PX850G in white from Deepcool. Absolutely beautiful power supply today. The great thing about why you want to spend a little bit more money on a white power supply in this kind of case is that you don't have a lot of extra room back here. When you're making this thing super narrow and super compact and still getting full ATX in there, you want to, full ATX motherboard, you want to be cognizant and get like white cables. So, Let's get those out. We don't do a lot of vertical GPU mounts just because if you want to overclock this, the GPU, it's hard with the riser cable. You can get like dev errors, so a lot of people don't like it. But like Tarkov, things like that, it's not really an issue. We'll need SATA today. 24 pin main, CPU one, 12 volt high power, CPU two. All these other cables are going in the motherboard bag. There we go, those are all our cables. Get this power supply in. All right, let's work on the cooler now. Let's work on the RGB cables for the hub. See what I was doing right there, kind of getting it wired. From the other fans, all these fans are wired in over there, looking good. We're gonna go top down, get ready to mount the cooler. Get our, get, get, get our, RG, or our, our uh, thermal paste on there. Gonna rest this gently right here on the fan. For thermal paste, I mean, this lean lean stuff's pretty good. I like um, uh, EK's. EK makes, EK makes a really good th uh, thermal paste. Uh, Fantech stuff's really good. And they're all they're all really good. Arctic makes really good. And they're all really good. Thermal Grizzly. They're all, they're so similar, chat. And they're so similar. If anything, I love the way this, this pump mounts. It's one of the best mounting pumps for these new standoffs, especially for AM5. Yeah, nice and tight, nice and secure. Take this off for now, so it's out of the way. We have more space to get the, the pump on. Get our rad in. All right, these are in. Up and in we go. As far forward as we can. Right, I'll spin this around so you can see it. Talking about. Uh, all right. There we go. Rear fan, they're onto the GPU chat. Holy cow. And putting the cover back on the, uh, the front, but man, holy moly. Ryan, the rear fan man. Dude, it just barely makes it, Ryan. There it is. It's tight because of the rubber on the back, but it's there and it, it spins. Can't, you can't fit one in there. And I had to do it. It was a pain. I mean, it's not really a pain. You just take the screws out really quick and you give the screws attached to the fan and you just pick it up and flip them around while you're ready to hit the GPU out. It's not terrible. Not super terrible. Get this beautiful Zotac Trinity OC out. I mean, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. All white GPU coming from Zotac today. There it is, chat. That's a beautiful looking card there. I wish I really had for this build was the white gaming x like slim from msi would have been really perfect but they don't make it yet has been has been launched i think there's a delay on it and the two fan just doesn't fit this case yeah, so the only guy i think it's got curves in the square offsetting which will still look good but like the, the squared off gaming x would look really good the tough would look good too but then the rgb would have been off this is a really good value too i think we got a really good rebate on from zotac to pass on our customers this is only like an 800 dollars card for white which is really good to see let's get the seated let me go get this dunk ready. Make sure everything's aligned. There's that dunk, you heard that. It's, it's really good, the H5 flow is a really good case, underrated case, definitely an underrated case, because it's older now from them, so they don't get, it doesn't get as much credit as it deserves. But the H5 flow is a very good, very competent case, especially if you're doing like more budget and less thermal, like, less, uh, so the system doesn't, doesn't really stress your thermals, it's really good. All right, let's get our total high power cable down into the GPU, get some zips on it. Give me a second here. I'm gonna spin this way for a second chat and I'll show you here so I can make sure I get this on right. That is gorgeous little system. That's a beauty, that's a beauty right here, chat. You guys ready to light this bad boy up? Got the, the covers on the back here. Oh, everything went on nice and easy. So we got the cable management, it's good. There we go. There it is, chat. That's a certified beauty. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash stints. Come on over, hang out, chat it up with us, and watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.